networks for instantaneous I think I'm going to do is when we finally load in is I'm going to double check production in all my cities unified vision of our future and I think built I can probably start cutting back a bit on my ship building politics. we have deadly weapons um, that could destroy our planet maybe start focusing a lot more of them on building nukes but I think and build that's going to be one of the few ways we're going to get this done stand for years to come although there will be those who underestimate even with but you are cunning and even if I can nuke straight up nuke the the wonders she's built that's bringing in all the tourists I don't know if I can straight up stop the tourism let's go look at France again and what is it for no. tourism Do I not get the uh, tourism lens? I only get it on my stuff. Hmm. Alright, let's turn that off. Go over to culture and see if that changes. I thought I could get this on other cultures. Nope, just me. Okay. <laughs> I don't really want to kill the world, but I don't want to lose to a culture victory. She needs, what, 59 tourists to win, and I need to finish researching nanotech and launch the hydroponics. If there was some way to just, I, I, I honestly, in terms of this game, I do not know how to prevent culture victories. I mean, I have the best science per turn. I'm only one tech ahead of, of France. And she's given up almost entirely on a science victory. She's yet to research satellites. The fact that she researched nuclear fission worries me. Um, looking at things, unless she has nukes or unless she has uranium underneath one of her already improved districts or tiles, I don't think she has uranium. Because I don't see any actually on the map, but because I've never been here, I don't get resource uh, information like wheat, chocolate. <clears throat> yeah, well, that's, that was my other consideration is, even if I do stop France... Greece? Oh, never mind. She slowed down a lot more. The thing is, they, they were they're technically so close. They're the ones balancing each other's tourist numbers. 280 to 281 there. 287 to 288 here. They are definitely the front runners for culture victory. Um, Aztecs decided to stop at some point, too. And push pretty hard. My tourism number is coming up pretty good. Um, like I said, I wanted to start looking in and seeing... How many places are building ships? And how many of them can I get to stop doing that? Because we're nine turns from the Mars habitation, but we are a long way before we can finish researching nanotech. I have boosts on everything all the way there, and these are the last things to research in the entire tree. Um, five, eleven... 17 turns before I can even launch the last piece. <clears throat> so is it actually the theater districts or the wonders that generate the tourism? Because... I mean, I guess the theater districts hold the, the cultural wonders. And artifacts and whatnot. The great works. Because I've already got spies running around destroying her spaceports, but again... She stopped going for it, even though she's get, got a spaceport building in every city that's got room for it. Um, where else did you settle? Over here. But yeah, I don't... Well, I mean, I can always check. Make a deal. Yeah, she has no uranium yet, so she can't make nuke. That's helpful. And I do have some CB, a CB available, because she's been denouncing me all game. Go figure. Uh, 
Okay, that's what I thought, because in my, in my experience, yeah, nuking a wonder never stops the tourism. Oh, motherfucker. Alright, something else I wanted to check. Um, I've got my na- I managed to negotiate open borders with Greece right before I went to war with, uh, the Saudis. So I can at least move my ships down through here into France. Um, I can bring a couple over here through Toulouse and a couple down into Marseille. But otherwise, I'm going to have to come up all the way up through Toulouse and down. I've got a small fleet coming up through here to allow our show. So, your dwarf hamsters bit your girlfriend. Some evil hamsters. <clears throat> Fully rated national park still managed to generate. Yeah, I know. That's why it's like, wow, honey, we went here, we came home, and now we're glowing. But man, I was so glad I went. I'm gonna go again tomorrow. Ah, uh, what? That's uh, an interesting choice. So yeah, the so, theater districts. The big issue with nuking, though, is the. I'll have my first nuke in three turns. Um, probably gonna need the subs before the next nuke. I really hate how slow nukes are in the uh, the balance mod. Everyone else building money because we're having a hard time with that. Although with all the extra trade routes we're gaining after we're taking over Saudi Arabia, that's doing a lot better. I've got two nuclear subs here that I'm gonna move through with the main fleet. And I think unless Greece gets really upset with me for something, <clears throat> I don't have to worry about her going to war with me while I'm moving through the area, because that would definitely suck. Um, I'm going to try and continue my same trick where... Uh, I'm going to send missionaries in to act as uh, vision on cities I can't see. Although with the spies... Around here, that probably won't be a terrible issue, because I can already see everything as is. Marseille will move up close enough and see anyway. I've got this missionary here to drop in anyway, if I need to. And as long as she doesn't drop a unit on it, it's not a problem. And, you know, the Aztecs fuck off for once. I wonder if that's something they might change in the game one day. You know, irradiated wonders and whatnot stop tourism. Because there's really not much you can do to stop tourism. Alright, this is going to get full up. Got the tank and the AT unit waiting for backup. Turn into armies before I move them out. <clears throat> I don't like how few milit or land units I have for all of this. Um... I'm not really sure how I'm going to take this city. And I've got enough gold that I could buy one unit, but it would leave me dangerously low. Having the subs built here is nice. Control of that water. But what I really need is them to be coming out, coming out of this way. Yeah, to stop tourism is to generate your own. I, I know, and that's not really going to be a thing that's going to happen, unfortunately. Um, I guess I'll leave you here for local defense, and I need you to move up. Especially if, as I suspect, she's going to have her own subs. Just looking at that... Oh, it's only a fleet. Okay, I thought that was a full-on uh, armada. That's not as scary. The problem is getting open borders with Spain. Short of going to war with them, and I don't want to get slowed down in that. So while I'm thinking about it... Uh... Right, you hate me. I can't do that. Yeah. 
What's your military strength? Pretty low compared to mine. France's military is also pretty low. I can't believe uh, the Aztecs and the Norwegians are sitting... I mean, hell, the Aztecs are almost a 4k. Norway's at 3300. <clears throat> that's that's generally the plan right now, Till, is to start capturing the cities. So that way all that, that tourism flips to me. Or at least doesn't go to her anymore. That's the whole point of sending all these fleets out. Is to start capping cities, and starting with Marseille and La Rochelle, moving up into Paris, and again, without a big land force, I don't know how I'm going to get Bordeaux. Um, after Paris, I can move up to Toulouse. Issue is, I've only got the one destroyer for capping cities. And yeah, I'm really hurting on land units right now. They're here, but I don't know if they can get there fast enough. Let's see, what are you constructing for me? A tank core... Never mind, you're slow as shit, because you're still problematic. I do have a destroyer here, and I've got this destroyer here. I could probably send the fleet up and leave the single guy, cap this city, and then rejoin later. It's too bad there's no way through here. <clears throat> ah, that's alright, Till. I mean, I, I think I would like to join it again. We had plenty of fun last week. Hmm. This is problematic, because I know she's got at least one other thing in my waters, and... Well, I guess I can use these subs to defend. But yeah, these subs here in these waters will be useful. And they'll pop in five turns. These subs are headed forward to be nuke, nuking the capitals and whatnot. What the hell, I mean, I can nuke a capital, drop a destroyer in it, and we're done. Uh, this place is building me another nuke. And... Also has one of my most amazing industrial zones already. I surrounded it with completely with mines, so it's got perfect adjacency. I mean, it also is the one city that came with oil, niter, coal, and aluminum. Like, every last resource but a uranium. Okay, that's cool, Till. I mean, I'm still uh, joined that Discord that you sent me to last time, so I think we... That's cool. Um, plus, the last couple nights I've hosted up his channel when I went offline. Since he's playing through, uh... What is it? The new Tales game? Rosaria? Wish this would jump me to the city. Looking here. But, uh, we're down this way. What would it take to get you another nuke? 20 turns. Uh, I'd say production focus, but that's every tile every anyway. <clears throat> I'm tempted to put an encampment out here, but the issue I would have with that is it would be pretty money intensive because of uh, New Deal. Encampment would be the third district down here, and I'd be charged another eight gold a turn. But we are going to pump out another two trade units pretty soon, and send them off for lots of money to city-states so I don't have to worry about wartime, you know, typically. Yeah, I love that city. I mean, hell, I came down here and was like, actually, this was all fog of war. I saw the two coal and decided I have to get down here somehow. After taking over India, I captured his settler and walked him down here slowly. Stopped down, and I was like, oh my god, look at all those hills. Look at the hills! And then oil popped here, and then niter popped, and then aluminum popped under a mine I'd already dug. And it just became the perfect city when I saw that there were six hills in a circle like that. I mean, I've got two more here, two more there, 
The sheep, I think, were technically on a hill. Let's see, was the niter... The niter wasn't on a hill, nor was the oil, but still. It turned into a glorious city. Um, in terms of science, I managed to snag almost every single great scientist in terms of science projects. So this Sagan is going to auto-complete the last step when I get there. I just have to get there first and start it up and I win. So it's not an issue of launching the final piece. It's an issue of getting to the final piece and starting it before the culture victory finishes out. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a glorious production city. <laughs> Like, city center and its tiles. And yeah, housing was a huge issue for a while. That's why I finally swapped to New Deal, because amenities... I couldn't get an India to stop bitching about um, war weariness. Which, as you can see, Jabalpur and Baghdad... Baghdad makes sense because I just captured it. Jabalpur was the first city to go in the war with India, and I've had it for the longest, and yet, for whatever reason, their war weariness has climbed from 5 to 6 to 7 to 8. I don't know why. I don't understand that. Um, Phil, how unhappy are you with me? Ungodly. Okay, we'll never be friends. So... <clears throat> The only way I get through his waters is by declaring war and hoping he leaves me alone long enough to get to France. Because having a war on two fronts with a small fleet like this is not going to go well for me. Especially dealing with city bombardment and all that crap. Alright, um, there is one last engineer for space race projects. Which, oh, wait, fuck you, that's mine. Ding. Although the amenity is going to help Gorgo with uh, culture, but that space race thing says that uh, all my launches are faster now. Yeah, Jabalpur. I don't know why they hate everything. This is the city I conquered for uh, for iron. And then said, fuck it, let's see how far I can get into India. And then took India and grabbed the Aztec city because they were being annoying and decided to clear war on me anyway. So I was like, hey, another city. I like it. So yeah, this city is at plus one amenity with negative eight war weariness. So... <clears throat> I swear I got him to seed me all cities. When I did that peace deal. Like, I made him give me everything, including this city, which I never even attacked. And left him with Mizor and Madurai, which are two awful cities. Makes me pretty happy. Also makes me kind of laugh at this Varu he's running around with. But yeah, I guess in terms of what the cities are building... I want more of them to start building nukes, because it's going to take a while to build lots of nukes, and... 24 for a thermo. 21. 22. 31. You don't count. You don't count. You are you don't count, because you're all still captured. 24. 20. 28. 33. 22. 23. 42, 21, 24, 54, 77. Building nukes everywhere is super slow, so you know what? You build one. I mean, you might be right, Till. I may have clicked through faster because I was just happy to finally be done with uh, the war in India and wanted to finally fit grab a peace deal with the Aztecs. But I may have misclicked and left it as unseated. But it doesn't really... I don't really understand why the war weariness goes up. I've been at peace, and this has been my city for over a hundred years. 
<clears throat> yeah, that's exactly what I was. I'm. Th I'm saying. People cannot hate you for conquering a city a hundred, three hundred, a thousand years later. That's just stupid. Alright. So, I think that pretty much gets me all but maybe one of the scientists and engineers that let me do space race stuff. I'm glad I definitely went with all that faith. Hmm. So Sydney Opera House in Marseille. Not much else. Bordeaux has Hill Cali. La Rochelle has no wonders. Paris. So yeah, let's try and figure out where the best place is to go. Alright, there's Oxford in Toulouse. In the theater districts for when we do nuke things. There's one here in Bordeaux. I don't know why these are so hard to see. Commercial. Building a neighborhood. <clears throat> she must have dedicated some of her other cities to culture sites or something. No, just spaceports that'll probably never get finished being built, because these cities are terrible in production, I'm sure. Yeah, assuming nobody sends spies to my spaceports to screw things up, we're probably fine. Weird. Does she really... This can't be possible. One theater square? I've got to be missing the other one somewhere. I mean, she's got a ton of chateaus to generate culture passively for her to, so she can get through the civic tree. But those don't really generate tourism. Oh yeah, I mean, I usually try and build three spaceports, personally, just because then it makes it a little simpler to uh, finish the Mars mission. You just launch one out of each, one piece out of each spaceport. Um, I have two, and I was building a third right now, but I canceled the third one because I've already got one piece of the Mars mission launched. I only need the two left. Chateaus do generate tourism. Oh, right, that was a French bonus. So for the most part, I've got this. This one amphitheater. One culture square. What I'd probably do is drop the nuke... Actually, right here. Well, no. Dropping it here gets Toulouse and Paris. But just misses Broadway and Bordeaux. Here gets Bordeaux and Toulouse. And I'm talking a thermo with the, the max radius. Problem is, I do have my spy here trying to break this spaceport. Pretty sure they still teleport out when they sense a nuke on the way. Hmm. <laughs> oh wow, a barbarian encampment. That's fun. Uh, that would probably explain why her tourism skyrocketed with only a few wonders. She put down a shit ton of chateaus. Looking at the map, are those still really her only cities? That's Geneva. Yeah, I think that's everything. <clears throat> Okay. Light. 
Bonus tourism to all improvements that provide culture. Well, there you go. So yeah, anyone who has an improvement that adds culture. Which would also mean... My Sphinx... ...would count. I get two faith and one culture off that, if I recall. I get two culture and one faith, so that's generating tourism right there, which... You know, makes sense. The ancient Sphinx are definitely a tourist attraction. Alright, well... Get it going. Already 9 o'clock. Spain built a zoo, Aztec finished Cold War. Greece is going to totalitarianism. Maybe. They researched it. They're literally passing by. We negotiated open borders for a reason, Gorgo. Chill out. <sighs> God damn it. But we did steal the time machine, so I guess there's that. So, I did have a spy trying to steal works from her to at least... Oh, wow. Two of them were captured, and one... Fucking Christ. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised. They were two of the newest ones. And they were pretty bad at it, too. Like, they had, like, 50-50 chance. So I just lost sight on La Rochelle. And Toulouse. I've got a new one in Paris. Let's see... Um, honestly, right now, keep stealing great works, and you... I believe you finished whatever you were doing. You're here to steal all her, all her money. And we've got sight on three cities again, so that's helpful. Uh, she does have an armada there. Looks like she moved one. Hmm. And my destroyer is really far behind, but isn't really going to do much in terms of attacking this. The theater district itself doesn't generate tourism. The works that you put in them, though, I would think would count. So, like, Water Lilies, Impression at Sunrise, Haystack at Giverny, all three of those artworks are going to be generating the tourism. We've also got two people specializing in it. She's really pushing culture. See. Caught up a little bit. She's been pushing her science like mad lately. Still hasn't researched satellites. See. Yeah, that's right. You were heading down here. Give me some vision on the city. If I'm not mistaken, I have plus four range on this guy. Because I can do this. As much as I'd like to kill the land units right now, I just want the city dead. You can sleep for a second. I can see the city, that's all I wanted. The only reason I'm destroying the city is I want this spaceport gone. The idea was to raise it, but... At this point, I don't know. I also love how she's bitching at the, the troops in her borders. <laughs> it's like... Remember, we, we, we negotiated this on purpose. Okay, I guess I'll destroy it, since it's in the way. I mean, that wasn't the plan, but, you know, whatever. 